Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Ultimate Alchemy with Janky Nick. Hello, welcome back, oh, Nick. Welcome back to the new, the beautiful dome. That I don't think it's a dome, really. The platform of Mush, the Mushroom Kingdom. This Nick, is not is a what dome, I'm calling. Is it? But it is the Mushroom platform. Kingdom. Nick, this is the dome of the Mushroom Kingdom, and I don't care what you say, Nick, or what you think. It's a dome. If I it's want it to be a dome, all right. And you better believe it's a dome. And you better believe it's a dome. The Mushroom Kingdom, I think, Nick has seen better days. Um, yeah. It's a little. The Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom has well and truly crumbled. Um, it's, yeah. I mean, I don't want to point out the obvious that there are no mushrooms in the Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom. That's, I mean. that's, that's a good indicator that it's crumbled. <laughs> Things are looking downhill for the Mushroom Empire. Yeah. Mm. yeah I man. feel like the, uh, the Mushroom Royals need to get you know, some funding together and really try and yeah, really try get and, a palace built. Yeah. You know? I feel like it could be a real spot of tourism for us, Nick. You know, if we get like a nice mushroom palace built, get the mushroom family. Like a massive shroom. Just a gigantic mushroom, Nick. Oh, I really, you know, we're not going to do it because we're lazy and garbage. Right. But like, I feel like it could be real cool, Nick, if we lived in a giant mushroom in this game. Um, yeah. But anyway, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I I'm, agree. <laughs> Isaac, I can't want to. Let's freaking do it, Nick. Um, and we could make it out of mushroom blocks as well. But anyway. Uh, Nick, I am going to work on, you guessed it, yet more Britannia. I want to get up the Alphine portal. And I think, Nick, if I throw a piece of paper into the Alphine portal, I should get a Thorncraft cheat sheet and unlock all the Thorncraft research so we don't have to go through and do all that manually, which is lovely. Mm. Whilst I do that, Nick, what are you planning on working on today? So, if we continue to our <coughs> famous... <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone. My name's Nick. <laughs> um... I'm also known by the name Nicholas and <coughs> Nikolai. Mm -hmm. And today I'm uh, continuing my quest for the dragon head, uh, which mm. Isaac is doing ruthless things to in his dark box. Um, I mean, the dark box has been taken down, Nick. You know, the FDA, they weren't a fan. They said it was too... Uh, under his dark mushroom... <laughs> under my dark mushroom platform in the mushroom dome. In the mushroom kingdom, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... One of the things we need is this dragon hide, and you basically put leather in a resonator to get the dragon hide, which is easy, but you need 100 grid power, Isaac. So, mm. today's going to be full of water mill action. I think you'll find, Nick, that you need 100 GPs. Yeah, uh, exactly. And I How'd mean, I don't, know if you've seen, I don't know if you've seen the state of the NHS right now, Nick, but there, there are not 100 and GPs in this contract. No, you there know? Like, I think we've got maybe six max, six seven, max. you know? Yeah, like it's 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 pretty dire, Nick. So there are six, and all of their names are Max. That's it's true, yeah. Maxwell, it's, Maxine, Maximilian. Do you reckon? I don't know, Nick. Do you reckon there's any correlation between like the name you give somebody and I guess in general who they become, but more specifically what job they do? Yeah, I think there is. You know, you reckon? You reckon if you could like name someone, name your kid Bob, he's more likely to be a builder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you name your son Kirby, they're more likely to be a frog. <laughs> Okay, we're getting grid powered up here. How much are we at, Nick? How much are we at? 85.33 so far, and I'm not nice. done yet. Nice. So it does, yeah, we talked about it a bit before the session, Nick, but it does diminish over time. Over time. Like, the more of these water mills you put down, the less grid power they produce. Um, and I think, Nick, again, it's not just the new ones you put down. They all become less efficient. Diminish, okay, okay. Yeah, so you can see right now, you'll see if you hover over one, it says effective power 13 point. Three seven or something. Fourteen percent efficiency loss. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, I can just put enough down for it just not to matter and you to turn a blind eye to it. That's the plan. Yeah. Okay. So eventually, hopefully, if you you can just brute force it, Nick. You know. I'm gonna brute force it, Isaac, because I can make a lot of watermills. The better way would be to diversify your grid power production, right? Yeah. Um, but to other means. But that's also not brute force Isaac and I like brute force so yeah I mean who doesn't love a bit of brute force Nick you know I know I do exactly this is not looking this is looking quite samey right now Isaac but I'm sure I can work on something to make it look a bit less samey it is looking quite samey Nick yeah but then will, what do you um, expect with just a load of water mills you know I feel like you're being a bit space inefficient here Nick because you could fit like two in the space here where this one is you know instead of having yeah, these gaps I could side. do I could do I might do that, Isaac. Yeah. And maybe have it go like two, then one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then like two. Hopscotch. Potentially just to mix it. Yeah. Just okay. to mix it up. Then you can put a sign down that says the hopscotch, you know? The hopscotch. John Cena's hopscotch. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. Yeah. Isaac, actually, I'm going to do that okay. right now. You're welcome, Nick. You know? I'm the ideas man. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. 
ideas, man, is uh, that's a thing, isn't it? I mean, it's like a YouTube series, and it, and it's two guys, and one of them, and it's a bit like what we do, and it's where they literally just chat absolute garbage, right? When they're I mean, coming they, up with a new the, idea. Whoa, 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 whoa! We talk about the serious issues and the things that's that really true. matter. Like we, we, you know, I, I'm offended, Nick, that you think that we talk garbage. Like this is well, this I mean, is highbrow stuff, Nick. But you do you know? so. Yeah, I'm all about the real issues, Nick. The real the issues from there today. The hard hitting <laughs> facts. The hard hitting facts, Nick. That's what I am all about. Oh boy! Oh, wow. Okay. This is yeah, no two than. Okay. It's almost there, Nick. You've seen this this bad boy before, but we pretty much. I think I'm ready to go here. If I go and give that guy a whack. Oh no, he does need uh, mana pylons. I'm a fool. It's almost there, Nick. It's almost there. I need two mana. Pylons. What's Here this for again, Isaac? I am making Nick the portal to the Alfheim. Oh yeah, you have talked about this before. Yes. Uh, this thing is required to make a couple of items from Britannia. Like if you want to make Dragonstone, if you want to make uh, Elementium, all kinds of stuff, Nick, that I'm sure you uh, are extremely interested in. But yeah. most importantly, I think, Nick, that we can use it to get a, a little kickstart in the world of Thomcraft. At least that is what I've been told. And so I'm going to attempt okay. to see if this is correct by giving this guy a quick old boop. I do like these new mana pylons, Nick. These are new for like 1.12. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, do we not have enough mana, really? 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 Excuse me? All right, maybe I need a bit more. How's the grid power fight going, Nick? What are we, yeah, what are we looking at? Yeah, I'm setting down right my slots, Isaac, with feet hopscotch. Mm, I see, I and see. And then I'll put them in. And then I think, actually, with this many, we should be groo groovy and gravy, Isaac. How much is that? One, we should two, be groovy and gravy. Two, four, six, eight eight more like i reckon that'll be groovy yeah don't forget that once you get over 128 they go down to like 50 percent efficiency i know, they I know. Really... So i'll make sure I've, i'll try and i'll try and just go slightly under 128 because if we go over 128 the efficiency loss will probably make it less good right you get me but you need you need more than 128 right yeah you need like 140 maybe because we need uh... so I take the brunt then and just ultra brute force it i think you need to ultra brute force it Nick. all right because right now if you look at any item that needs grid power or really anything from extra utilities too you'll see that we passively are using th uh, 34 uh grid power so you need to have like at least 135 grid power for us to be able to make that dragon hide all right right so okay i'm gonna ultra brute force it isaac you you if you want to ultra brute force it yeah um, at least two on oh, nature. Oh, I'm a fool, Nick. That's what have you why done, I put down standard mana pylons when in reality I have to upgrade these with a wee bit of terra steel into nature pylons, of course. Mm. Don't you worry, Nick. It's just me being a turkey. Don't you worry. Kapow, Kablame, and Kabuya. Nick, look at that green goodness. Oh. Oh, oh I yeah. Love it. So, you, so, what do you get effects. from Portal to the Alfie, oh, 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 Isaac? Oh, oh, oh. I get this thing here, Nick. Look at this. I get the Thomcraft Alchemy Cheat Sheet. Oh, do you, yeah, you, know, uh, you have, do you have you mentioned wanna, oh, no, that Nick, word before? You know what? Nick, you go ahead and take that one. I'll go ahead and grab myself another one. We can both cheat at the same time. Okay, Nick. I'm going to grab it. What do I do with it? Do you'll I right be, click it? I think you just right click on it and you'll be given all the Thomcraft Ooh, research yeah. oh, God, imaginable. Yeah, research Nick. complete. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I think so that's going to keep going for a one. while, honestly. <laughs> There's a lot of research that's, that's going to be completed. a lot of research. Oh my goodness. We're down to 20% 20 efficiency loss. We're down to each one producing 12.74 grid power. Wow. Like, it's How dropping quick. How the 20% efficiency loss? Um, let's have a look here. Because we're only at 114 GP, right? Not 128. I think it's on... I think it's... But it says between 64 and 128, so it's 33%. Oh, right. Okay. So I think it's like a sliding scale where when you get to 128, that's when it'll be at 33. Right. Here we go. Do you know what I mean? I think it's a sliding scale from zero at 64 up to 33 at 128. So, right. yeah. You got it, though, Nick. You got it. It's almost there. Um, so we've got the Thomcraft cheat sheet. Nick. I do need the Thomonomicon. I think the whole reason behind getting that Thomcraft cheat sheet is that uh, right now, do we have any uh, Sailor's Mondays? We don't. Now, you can make Sailor's Mondays in how do you make it by pulverizing lavender quartz which is made wow. by crafting mana quartz with magenta pigment or magenta dye the mana quartz of course is made by throwing a little bit of nether quartz you guessed it into a mana pool now mm. i think nick if you don't have that thorncraft cheat sheet then 
when you try and get a thermonomicon, it won't work. Right. Right? Like you won't the the bookshelf won't turn into a thermonomicon. Um I think there are two ways you can do it. I'm gonna test this theory that I've got right now to see if this one is right. Do we have any magenta dye? We do. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, Cause I'm not actually too sure if it's gonna work. So I wanna test it before I start telling people how it works. So if I do this, and then if we very quickly pulverize this in this extremely fast pulverizer that Nick has made for us. Mm-hmm. Are you in the are you in obsidian central, Isaac? I am, Nick, I am. Mm. You have gotten rid of the acceleration one, so it's not quite as crazy fast as it once was, but you know, it's still it's still pretty fast, it does Nick, the all things considered. It does do the job. So I do need a bookshelf. Um, I think I'm gonna need three books, which might require more leather than we have. Oh no, we do have oh it's paper that we're out of, really? I thought we had loads after that sugarcane explosion. Uh, I've got two sugarcane, Isaac, but... Um... Ah, it's fine, Nick. There's a bunch in the system. Oh, okay, that's good. I'll, I'll... So, Nick. So, 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 so. Here is the, the bookshelf. And ideally, Nick, when I right-click on this bookshelf with this Sailor's Mundus, it should, hopefully, turn into a Thorm a Monomicon. Also, have you seen this bookshelf, Nick? Wait, look at this thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks pretty it's 3D, neat, right? 3D action. 3D. Oh, Isaac, 3D. Also, Isaac, we're generating 182 grid power. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's a thom. It's a th You didn't even look at this guy. This piece of. It's a thom. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at this. Look at this. I'm so thom. 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 So if you try doing that before you have the cheat sheet, it just doesn't work. Um, the other way that I think you can do it is by getting the um, getting some crystals first, because normally the way that you do it is you go and you mine like air crystals or water crystals or uh, ignis crystals. You mine some kind of Thorncraft crystal and then you go to sleep, you get the sheet, you know, you wake up and then you can do the Sailor's Mundus thing. So the other way you can do it, I believe, is by crafting one of these crystals by throwing a Rune of Balance into the Elven portal. That will give you one of these crystals that you can then pulverize to get a normal crystal and some Sailor's Mundus and you can move on from there. I think we are still going to have to make this Rune of Balance, but I have a Thorn Look at what I've got. I've got Dragonides, Isaac. Got dra nice. Nice. Also, Nick, between we didn't even mention it, but between episodes, you did go ahead and grab the uh, the extra dragon horn as well. Holy heck, Nick! We're getting we're getting close to making this dragon mm. head. So we've got the dragon horns. Uh, the I, I might I might look to making this zombie brain real quick because I think that might not be too bad. Um, do you, Nick, want to start working on? I guess the dragon prosthetic skull. Let's have a look. Oh, the flux armor plate. And okay, mm. so I need a flux yeah, crystal. Yeah, you want to get that a, a whirl. Okay, and I need. Uh, electrum plates, so I need electrum, which I need the electrum blend, which I need silver, gold, and destabilized redstone. Yeah, I'll work on that. Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's have a look. Can I make? How do you make the runic matrix? So I need. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I. It's all coming back to me, Nick. It's all coming back to me. I need a crafting table, which I apparently, apparently we don't have any crafting tables <laughs> in our system, Nick. That's to be expected. That is crafting shocking. Table. Goes down. Where am I gonna, I'm gonna, you know, Nick, I'm gonna put the magic stuff over here just to uh, to kind of involve you in the magical world. Oh god! Oh, look at that. Do you hear these little sound effects, Nick, that are coming in? Oh, all around yeah, you. Yeah, I can. Oh no. <laughs> Thorncraft. I mean, Nick, it's like you know, you know, you know, Thorm, Thorminom, Thorm would get get my Thorminom. I can't even do my Thorminom. Wow. Phenomenon. This guy. <laughs> god. Uh, so let's have a look. Runic Matrix. I need Niter, of course. Okay. 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 So I think I have to set up this cauldron. The cauldron does require a heat source beneath it, I think, to start with here. So I think initially, Nick, what I'm going to do, do we have, yeah, we do. We've got a bunch of netherrack. I'm going to throw that down because the netherrack, of course, will burn forever. And this is going to be a, a very temporary setup, Nick, all things considered. Extremely temporary. Okay. I believe you, Isaac. So don't, don't fear. Right, let um, me turn around. When you uh, when you see it. What the hell, It's very, Isaac. it's extremely temporary, Nick. I need a place to put fire. And so for now, this is extremely temporary. I feel like, I don't know if these wireless crafting grids are worth it, Nick. Like, they're good. But I also feel like we should have a normal crafting monitor here. Because, like, the, the number of times I have to charge up this gosh dang wireless crafting yeah. grid, Nick, is crazy. It's quite a lot. I've been charging up more recently as well. Um, and, I mean, yeah. Nick, I don't want to... Like, I don't want to diminish the hard work that you put into making these wireless crafting grids, right? But the island is like eight blocks wide. And so we don't really ever go that far away from where the crafting grid would be, right? I mean... Um, what are you saying, Isaac? <laughs> About my hard work, <laughs> Isaac? I'm saying, Nick, that maybe, just maybe, uh, we could have probably done without it. Maybe. Right. Just maybe. Wow. 
maybe. How do I make Nitor? I forget. Oh, I need, uh, it is orange. No, it's yellow? Yellow. Okay, so I need Glowstone and then Potentia, Ignis, and Lux. Is there like a thing that tells me where all this... Oh, I don't think there is, Nick. This is the most difficult bit about Thorncraft is finding items that contain the um, the essences that you want. So like any item mm. in your inventory, Nick, if you hover over it and press shift, you'll probably now see some Thorncraft um, elements showing um, up. Like in the physical world? In your inventory. In your inventory. Oh, in my inventory. Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah like stuff has got like a bunch of different things on it i think if i'm not mistaken that for nitor i'm probably gonna want to go with like coal blaze powder is not a bad idea though i need i think i might go with blaze powder nick What's okay it has five and one although coal also might be a bad idea coal has oh no coal's the much better idea <laughs> i'm gonna go with coal okay coal contains 10 ignis and 10 potentia uh, so now all i need is 10 looks i'm fairly certain nick, that i can get 10 looks from either glowstone or torches Glowstone does the trick, Nick. Who would have thought? Mm. I'm also fairly certain, Nick, that I need some uh, quartz slivers. These are going to make my life a little easier, I think, here. So I'm going to grab some of those. And then what do I need to finalize the creation of a little wee bit of Nitor? I need one more piece of glowstone. Okay, so I think, Nick, if I go glowstone, coal, coal, Oh, Glowstone. God, that sound effect oh. just brings back, like, bad memories, Isaac. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Flashbacks to, to a darker time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, basically, for those who are wondering, by throwing the quartz silver in, uh, I get these um, crystals back. So, the crystals... The, the quartz silver essentially allow me to empty out most of the cauldron of the excess V that's in there uh, so that bad things don't start happening uh, in the world. But, Nick, I have some night ore. Uh, I do need more night ore, though. Um, so, maybe I shouldn't have emptied it out so quickly here. No, that's not what I want to... Can I like, can I just shift right click to empty this? Oh gosh. I can, nice, okay. So I will do the same again here real quickly, Nick. You do it, man, you do it. Right, this is gonna need a, a, a heavier redstone operation in this magma crucible. So let's get the accelerators on board. So you, I'm going to move this, Nick. So the, don't you worry, Nick. The uh, the age of the temporary cauldron is over. So yeah, you see that's Thanks, the flux there. I didn't didn't use the quartz silver that time. I don't think we're going to get into enough farmcraft to where we have to worry about flux. Hopefully, right? Uh, okay. Do you see this flux, Nick? That's um. I forgot about that. Little, that's the purple the balls crap, in the air. Isn't it? Yeah, like up oh, here, God, you see yeah. these flying away. At least the particle effects are better. I remember when it looked like liquid. And it was awful. Yeah, it did used to be a liquid that would that would plop down all over yeah, the place. That was. That was uh, that was that quite was, the time. That was quite something, Isaac. I'm looking at making the uh, the matrix here, the runic matrix. I need night ore, I need arcane stone, which just made oh, so easy, Nick. It's so easy. So if we just go ahead and craft up some of this, I think we can put any in here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm putting in census, I think. Oh, potential. That's also fine. And then I think this needs to be crafted up in the arcane workbench. Nice. And then if we take you, one, two, three, and four. Nick, I've got all the items to make the Runic Matrix. Now I just need one of each V-Crystal. Holy heck, okay. Again, this is where the Cauldron is probably going to be my friend because we can just put in any item that contains any of the Vs and then any of the V and then just uh, use the Quartz Sliver to pull it out. So, uh, Ignis needs to be in there. All right, now I've got to find everything else. What do you reckon is going to contain Aqua, Nick? Um, like... S b b uh, solid gold, Isaac. Solid gold. Solid I've got a feeling, Nick, that potentially a might bucket have of it. water but might. That's <laughs> like, I wouldn't, Isaac. That's a bit. You wouldn't risk it? I wouldn't risk it. Um, I wonder if there's any... Can I just type in aqua? I think I can. So I think you can just type in the essence into JEI and then you can click on it and it gives you a big old list of all the items that contain it. But the list is so just incredibly long right. right because like there are so many items that contain it cactus is not a bad idea though how much is in cactus enough i think yeah so for those who are wondering here the way this works is for example a cactus contains five herba five aqua and then one of that knife element i'm not quite sure what it is um and it takes two uh, two V with one quartz sliver to get a shard. So, for example, if I throw two of these in, that's ten herba, ten aqua, two sword element. I should get out of that if I throw in all of these quartz slivers. I should get, I think, five herba crystals, five aqua crystals, and one sword crystal. I think. So we'll do that. We'll do this, and yeah, you can see five, five, and one. Nice. So I'm going to do that over and over again until I've got all of these, I guess, so I can make the runic matrix. 
Um, I think order is the last thing I need here. Let's have a look. Is order in lead? It is. Nice. So we'll take two lead. Throw this in. All right, Nick. I think mm -hmm. I have what it takes to make this guy here. Oh, I do. Nick, look. Where you at? Where are you at, Nick? Where are you I'm at? I'm at the conga line, Isaac. I'm at the conga line. Nick, What's up? Come here. Come What's here. Up? I don't have what it takes to fully build it yet, Nick, but... Look at this guy. Ooh, wow. Runic Look at matrix. this thing right so there. Is that, the is that like the matrix. thing that we pray to Nick, and it makes the Nick, stuff for us? Nick, look. Type in dragon head. Look at the dragon head recipe, Nick. Look at that dragon head recipe, Nick. Infusion crafting with a runic matrix. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So now I think I just honestly need some pedestals so that I can... Uh, like, I think we need one pedestal for each item. How many items are there for the dragon head? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, Isaac. Yeah, uh, thirteen, 12. including the one in the middle. Right, okay. Oh, man. Okay, so I need thirteen pedestals. Holy heck. Okay. That's a lot of pedestals, Nick. It That's a, a lot, lot of pedestals. pedestals. Upgrade. It's a Hit. lot of pedestals. But I think I can do it. I oh, think invar. I can do it. What happened to our invar? Uh, we don't have anybody mid. Oh, wow. Actively. Yeah, no. We're one, Invar is one of those things, Nick. It's, uh, we've got one. So our, our, our conga line right now is not symmetrical. There are like 13, 12 on one side and 11 on the other. So there's one slot right at the end where you are, Nick, for, mm. I think, Invar is probably the best right, thing I that we see. should add there for automated Invar. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to do that at any point, you know, just feel feel free. All right. I'll work on this uh, Flux to Electrum action first, and then I'll, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll yeah. get to it. No, right, no, so no these rush, no go rush. into the metal press. Nice, okay. So Sorry, let me check in skin. my Thalmanomicon here. How is this done? How do I, how do I complete this together? Uh, infusion, infusion. Do I have like a... Oh, I see. So I need... Okay, and I assume we just activate it with Silas Mundus potentially. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure where the where do you, where do you want to put this, Nick? Like, where um, are we going to do our infusion? Good question. Crafting? Actually, um, like it'd be like right right here. Yeah, wh wherever your heart desires, really, man. Does this have oh, power? Wherever my heart desires. You're so kind, Nick. Oh, it doesn't have power. Flux point zero RF. Um, these metal presses don't have power, Isaac. Is it because? Why is that? Uh, try, mm, I'm not quite sure, Nick. One second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then pedestal. Okay, one, one second. One oh, they second. Do have, Let me... I think they might do, actually, Isaac. I'm just... Um, what are you trying to make? What are you trying to make? I'm just I'm just trying to put some flux electrum ingots onto a metal press, Isaac. So I just wanted to hijack one of these metal presses to make. What? But you just... You're trying to do what, sorry? I, I just want to put these on the metal press, Isaac. That's not how that works, Nick. Oh, okay. Um, like you can, so I see what you're trying to do, but it doesn't have the white plate in it at the top. Oh, if you okay. type, if you press U on your flux electrum ingots again and go to the metal press, you'll see it needs either to make a gear. You need a gear a gear press to make a, a plate. You need a plate press. A metal press mold plate. Oh wow. Yeah, these have got this. You see, this one here is a a metal press mold compression, which oh, is why it's not working. Uh, you make those in the engineer's workbench over I here. See. Okay. Actually, I think everything might already be in here. Yeah, everything's in here for you, Nick. So you can just pull out a plate on the right there. Like that. Uh, and I want this one. Oh, I've got it. Okay. So how do I install that into one of these? Isaac? So shift right click to pull the old one out with an empty hand, probably. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. And then just whack, just right click the new one. In. See. There we go. Right. So now. There you go. And now you can, now you can throw your stuff on there. Oh yeah. Ka ching There you go. Nice. Uh, those are going to go into nowhere for now. You go, they're just going to spew out because there's nowhere for them to go. But yeah. Can I throw a stat down or is that not how it works? Um, you, I think you can, yeah. Oh, nice. I think it'll just take one at a time. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Okay. So I just need to line it up correctly. Oh, it was Silas Mondays. I didn't need the gauntlet. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at Ooh. that. And then how many items do you say we needed? 12. 12 on the outsides. Yes. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that. Oh, Beautiful. Look at that. So you're going to stick the dragon skull in the middle, Nick. Yeah, let's do that. On that man. middle pedestal. And then you can put your, your horns on two. Does this have to be in the correct order? The dragon skull goes in the middle, obviously. No, yeah. Um, the rest can go everywhere. 
Okay. The uh, the common logic in Thorncraft is symmetry, so you want to put your two dragon horns opposite each other if okay. possible. Let me put the dragon horns opposite each other. I'll do it like the pictures showed me, Isaac. Here we go. Sure, sure. <laughs> Diagonally. There we go. Yeah, and look at that. And then put this there. There we go. So far, so we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things left, Isaac. Nine things left to go, Nick. Uh, but really, you know, a lot of these, three of them are duplicates, so we need th two of each, so you know, four, the dragon eye, four sets the dragon things, scale. Really. Yeah. So we're not too far away. The zombie brain shouldn't be too hard to get. The dragon's breath might be a lot difficult. We do need a refinery, but that shouldn't be too bad. And the manual is a bit of a pain to make, so getting the uh, dragon fan fang is going to take a bit of time, Nick. But it is all very, very doable, Nick. Holy heck, look at that. The dragon head is in sight, Nick. And once we have the dragon head, we can fight the wither, we can get the nether star, we can get the clear, Nick, and we can freaking get out of Make this the assessment. Holy heck, Nick, we will finally have some clear. This island is getting real, real dense, Nick. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at this look grid at this power. Beauty, Jeez, so much grid power. So much grid power. <laughs> oh, I love it, Nick. I freaking love it. But I think that that is a good place to wrap up for today. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please hit like. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next, next time. time. Goodbye. Goodbye.